Hello from TJ Dragon's channel. This is GEC4 uh, again, and today I want to talk about a little topic uh, for my disciples and also those who are interested in learning the Taoist magic that we teach, Samo San Gong. Now, today uh, my topic is about the uh, reason why, uh, or, or as I say, how we can communicate with the altar without, you know, spiritually uh, communicating with it, you know, like, like talking to it. Now, how to communicate with a dead object, that is a very important thing that you should know uh, about our theory, okay? Now, how to test if, let's say, uh, how hard the door is or the wall is. You take something, you bang it, okay? And when you bang it, it gives you a response. The response tells you this wall is soft, this wall is hard, this wall is empty behind, right? We all know. Um, you want to know is the wall solid, you knock on it. You hear the sound, it gives you a response. Now the sound tells you the wall is empty behind, or there is stuff behind backing it, and you can listen to the sound. And the feeling, how it feels to to you, and you can understand, right? Now, how could you know? Well, because you have knowledge. You know that wall uh, when it's empty behind, the sound is more hollow and stuff like that. Okay, it's it's like that. There's a pattern, okay, in nature. Now, the same thing goes with magic. To understand how to communicate with the altar, there's also a way to communicate with it. First of all. The most simple way is to use a device that will allow you to get a response from the altar and that is what we're going to get into today which is the what we call the moon cup the singing buoy right here okay now a lot of people don't understand why this is called a cup it doesn't look like a cup like it doesn't look like a cup that you drink with right so why is this a cup well, basically, the meaning of moon cup is actually uh, about the usage metaphor, okay? Moon is what absorbs the light, okay? The sun, the moon, okay? The sun puts out light. The moon absorbs light. Very simple, okay? Now, um, it's a metaphor, okay? <laughs> uh, cup, it's related to uh, the, the containing ability like how it absorbed and contain okay now let's say i am going to uh i'm going to give you money okay i am giving you money so how do you know how much money you really got after my the transaction is done let's say i'm the bank okay you are the um the person getting money okay how do you know at the end, how much money do you, do you really get? You don't know. Sometimes I, I can be saying, okay, I'm giving, I'm the boss. Okay, for example, I'm the boss, the human. I'm giving you $300, okay? At the end, you only got $100. Who knows, right? But somehow, you know, in the transaction, something went wrong. I don't know. You don't know, right? Nobody knows. So there got to be a, a third medium coming up to test it. So another person will ask you, hey, how much do you have right now? And based on how much you have, how and then based on the information, I said how much I gave. At the end, this person knows, okay, how much is really being uh, delivered, right? That that's basically the the whole concept behind the thing. Boy, I now got this food, okay? Maybe I got this food, this this thing. I got it empowered by the altar, okay? I scoop up the energy from my altar. The altar charged this thing up, and this is going to be my magic stuff, okay, that I created. Now, how do I know how much energy is being put into here? The condition of this so far, I will use this cup. A demonstration here is like this. First, you have to activate this thing by stomping your heart spells, number one, right here. And then right here, you ask the question, is this food? Uh, ready to be used etc okay you want to ask okay after that one bow back to here now I want to check the thing so there's a spell okay teen ling ling day ling ling cup cup you la ling and a toss this will be my response okay after I toss it one time two three times I know how well this is right now 
because there's a decoding system to this thing. The decoding system is not like something that will work after you just buy this thing somewhere, okay? You need to, as I said before, every magic tool needs to be checked. In English, the thing, something like consecrated, okay? You have to bond this to the altar in order for the altar to react to give you the answer when you're when you're doing it okay this is the only way how you communicate to test this whatever it is okay i want to test how much is being like i did my stuff okay i did all the process all the spells and everything i did it already how much is actually being given right here right now how is it right now okay so i will have three different results one is okay you will look okay you have two flat face one is one flat and one like this and the other one is of course like that okay whatever is facing up so um there are different different uh setups right here okay now when the cup this is what we call the cup the same boy okay it's like that this is like when the cup is like this okay there's a lot of potential to it you can still put things in here maybe there are water inside already you don't know but it just means that the cup is like this okay when it's like that it means the cup is of course like that and water spills out as you can see okay now when it's uh one up and one down it means that the, there are stuff coming into the cup right now okay so how to tell what it uh what is it saying let me explain first divination okay the first one means the surface right now the surface okay now the surface of things is like this you look at it right now at this moment the flashlight is not turned on okay nothing's being done nothing's happening okay the second divination is the inside the absorbed okay what it absorbed inside okay so right here like with this flashlight whoops okay the inside how is it okay the inside the third divination is about the final result okay meaning that when it's Turn on when you use it. Is it going to turn on or it's not going to turn on? Is it working or it's not working? You don't know, right? So when I am doing a divination on the food, you have to understand the first divination is the outside. Okay, the outside of the food. And then the inside of the food is the energy. And then the third is is it functional when it's being used? Let's say, for example, the outside I got both going down, okay? Meaning a yam bui negative. Meaning that the outside right now, okay? The outside is not turned on. Let's see the next one. The outside is not ready. The second one is a sing bui, okay? The inside is like something charging in. So the outside right now, there's not no power exposing, but the inside is being charged up. Okay, the inside is good. It's being charged up. Now the third one. When I'm using it, when I'm finally going to use it, this is a double down again, negative. So that means that the inside is still charging. Okay, uh, the outside is not not powerful enough. And when I would use it, it's not going to be good. That means that the final result is not good. Okay, the inside is being charged up. What that means is, well, your outside needs more work. Uh, you might need more empowering, maybe even other kinds of work, and you need to do it. Okay, do other work to this food to make it work. So when we are doing our uh, chick food process, meaning the the process to to charge up and activate that food and such. There's a lot of variation going on, okay? I can be doing the same ritual, but this food might not be okay based on the amount of work I'm doing, the condition I have, the condition of the altar. There's a lot of variation to think about. When the food is not ready, we need to know what to do. 
what to add into the food. Sometimes I need to add a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that, etc. So different things to be done on the food is based on the interpretation of how you test and what kind of result you get out of this test. Okay, it's like you're cooking a piece of meat. Okay, you cannot see if the meat is fully cooked yet or not. You can only see the surface. Okay, the stick. The outside is like all grilled up, but the inside you don't know. Sometimes it, like the outside looks pretty okay, but the inside is very rare and uh, raw and stuff like that. And then when you finally eat it, it's very juicy, but all the blood's coming out and it's definitely not okay. It's still kind of cold inside, right? You don't know. You are still doing the same cooking all the time. All you can see is the surface, which is the food. If you don't do the the moon cup, the, 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 the testing, right? It's like you don't take a thermometer and poke it into the stick. You don't know if it's really ready. Maybe you have to press it, okay? See if it's tender and stuff like that. You need to test it some way, right? So this is our testing tool, okay? So now you know why we have this sing uh, pui right here, which is what we call the moon cup, okay? So writing a food is not just like something that you do, follow some steps and it will be okay. Sometimes you follow a step, it's not okay, okay? Because different food, uh, different time, etc. Everything can vary. You can be having a bad day. The author can be having a bad day. The food can be written wrong. Whatever it is, okay? So you need to understand like that, okay? Now, sometimes your food might not be powerful enough, but the author still give you a goal, okay? Good stuff. You can do it. Why? Well, because you cannot do anything better than that. Sometimes it's like this, okay? So you'll be doing it and uh, why my problem is not solved yet after I use the food? Well, that's the best you can do at the moment. So the, the author will give you this, okay, acceptable, okay? Because you cannot do something better. But when you can do something better, the author will tell you, uh, you have to improve a little bit on this again, okay? Like that. Now at the end, let us do one more example of the definition, uh, the, the communicating you know, with the, this thing and test it out. So I'm done with the food and now let's see. Okay, the surface is double up, okay? So the surface is awaiting, like in a standby mode, okay? We don't know if it good inside, so let's see. Like this, okay? The inside is a sing pui, okay? One up, one down. Meaning the inside is charging in, okay? So the outside is standby, the inside is charging in, which is very good. When I'm going to use it, it's on a uh, standby mode, okay? This is, when I am going to finally use it, this is uh, okay, close, close to the potential, okay? There's a potential there. So that means when I'm going to use it, the power is not going to flow through, but there's a potential, meaning that we don't know yet, okay? So you want that insurance, you, you want it to be better, you can do some hoi guang and stuff to it. But it's usable, it's just that not so good yet, okay? Uh, there is more that you can do to it that makes it better, okay? Maybe a little bit of hoi guang and empowering and such to make it better. But so far, the food is like, uh, okay, very close to okay. You still need to work on it a little bit. Okay. Now, if the third one is changed to one up and one down, that means the food is ready to be used. It just needs a little bit of more charging, and basically it's fine. But so far, the food is pretty okay on the right track, okay? Not the best, that kind of stuff. Learning how to decode these cups and stuff is the same as how you can do, like learn to decode the different kinds of what they call the divination, okay? There's a lot of knowledge behind and you need to fully understand that concept and the knowledge behind. And this you will learn in the lineage when you're ordained and stuff like that and then just keep digging into the, the knowledge. A lot of stuff to learn, okay? So we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.